What is up, my people? It is boy DJ Eastwood, running back Philly. No frauds, no fanboys, no intros. Haven't gone live in a minute, so I decided I would just pop up here, uh, go live real quick, talk to you guys and girls about uh, some Philadelphia Eagles breaking news uh, about an hour ago. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Logan, Drew Smith, Mark Isaac, Greg23. What's going on? 41 people up in here. Let's just bring this up here and uh, let's talk about it. I'll give you my thoughts on it. Okay, so uh, the Eagles have agreed to terms to trade tight end. <laughs> Still funny that they list him as a tight end. The Eagles have agreed to terms to trade tight end J.J. Arcego Whiteside to the Seahawks of all teams for safety Hugo Amadi. To the Seahawks for safety Hugo Amadi. Now, uh, J.J. Arcego Whiteside uh, was going into what? The last year of his rookie contract, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure you will, most people remember the J.J. Arcega Whiteside uh, draft pick because of the player that is on the Seahawks, the wide receiver that is on the Seahawks, um, and now J.J. Arcega Whiteside has to go be in the same building and practice with one DK Metcalf, uh, who was uh, the best receiver uh, in that draft, um, or, or top two or three. Um, but nine teams passed on DK Metcalf in that draft. The Philadelphia Eagles took J.J. Sega Whiteside out of Stanford. He was supposed to be a big... Uh, a big 50-50 uh, ball guy. He was supposed to be a, a tall, athletic, little end zone fade kind of guy, a, a receiver that you can that you could throw the ball up to uh, and help and have him go get some 50-50 balls. Uh, J.J. Arcega Whiteside uh, never lived up to that hype, uh, never lived up to that draft selection, um, and Howie Roseman finally finally, finally admitted that it was not a good draft pick and finally cut the cord, gave up on J.J. Arcega Whiteside. And I don't, you know, they traded him for safety. Uh, Hugo Amadi, and we're going to, you know, read a little bit about him in a second, but I don't really even care who they traded him for, to be honest with you. It was just one of those things. I felt like every season I was looking at this roster and saying, why in the hell is J.J. Arcega Whiteside still on this team? So they had the experiment last year, uh, you know, and, and, I, and I think, uh, I think it, it, Howie Roseman doesn't like to be wrong. He doesn't like to admit that he's wrong. And, uh, you know, with, you could have traded him high, uh, last year, the year before, I guess not high, but you could have traded him with a little bit of value, maybe, uh, last year, the year before, once you saw things, uh, weren't working out, but Howie Roseman being the guy that he is and, uh, refusing to be wrong about things like this, uh, tried and tried and tried to fix his, uh, his draft mistake. Um, and one of the things that, that was just funny to me that, that they did, uh, last season was tell everybody, that J.J. or Sega Whiteside is playing tight end, all right? And and you guys eat this stuff up. You do. Like, you got to admit, you guys eat this stuff up every year. You know what I mean? You were hitting me up last year, sending me clips or, or, or talking about whatever. Oh, man, this this might be good. This might be huge. J.J. or Sega Whiteside playing tight end. This might be amazing. And every single time somebody sent something like this to me, I was like, come on, man. What, what, are, we, what are we talking about here? What are we actually talking about here? J.J. or Sega Whiteside playing tight end. Knock it off. Give me a break. You know what I mean? But you guys eat that stuff up every season. They, and it was, it was Howie's idea or, or plan, one of his attempts to cover up the blunder that was the J.J. or Sega Whiteside draft pick. And so they tried to play him at tight end. They, he ended up being a, you know, oh, he's one of the best special teams guys on the team. One of the best special teams guys on the team. Do 
you know where you get special teams players from? The fifth, sixth, seventh round, undrafted, free agency, the waiver wire. You know, people hit me up. Oh, he's one of the best. Like, what are you talking about? Come on, man. A high second round draft pick and he's now your most valuable special teams player? No. So finally, coming into this season with as deep as the Philadelphia Eagles wide receiver core is, I mean, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, uh, 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 Quez Watkins, um, you got Pat, Zach Pascal that they picked up from the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, it, you know, it's up, it, it was up and down. Who Who's going to make the cut? Uh, you, you still look at Greg Ward Jr. as like a, a deep wide receiver slot kind of guy. Um, there's just no room whatsoever for J.J. Arcega-Whiteside. It was almost embarrassing at this point to even be listing him on the roster, and it was like, where does he fit? He does. There's no room for him. There's no room. So they finally accept it and move on. Now, they trade him for... Uh, how did I forget his name? Hugo Amadi. All right, so so let's uh let's just go check out uh who that is and what he's about. Eagles trade JJ Sega Whiteside to the Seahawks for DB Hugo Amadi. Now somebody already jumped in the comments of of uh my last video that wasn't even Eagles related; it was Sixers related. But jumped in the comments and said they traded for Hugo Amadi who's a safety. And I was initially like, okay, are you saying that? But because like, are you saying that insinuating that we got some kind of value in return for JJ or Sega Whiteside? Uh, because JJ or Sega Whiteside has no value. There's no value whatsoever at all. Uh, so, you know, the, the DB that the Eagles get in, in return of that draft isn't actually supposed to mean anything. Now it does. It is nice. Of course, obviously I have depth at a position. All right, just says DB, um, but the Eagles' safety position, uh, I guess, uh, got some depth in this trade. But, um, you know, uh, we'll talk about Hugo Amadi in a second, but uh, Jaquaski Tart, you know, Anthony Harris coming back. Uh, I guess Marcus Epps is, is really the guy uh, at safety. You've had Kavon Wallace uh, that you drafted a couple years ago who can hardly even sniff the NFL field. Uh, coming out of Clemson, which is a major disappointment because he's supposed to be representing Clemson safeties. Like my guy, Brian Dawkins, you know what I mean? Not that he was ever projected to be that good. but um, So I guess the, the question mark that has been left on this Eagles roster has is the safety position. So it's good to add depth, but don't freak out about this. They were just trying to get rid of uh, a JJ for anything. They were trying to get anything in return. And uh, the Seahawks threw out uh, a DB that they were going to release, you know. So that's what this is. Don't don't overhype it. You guys overhyped the Jaquaski Tart thing when that went down. You know, oh my God, he played in the Super Bowl. Oh my God, he was on the Super Bowl Forty ers team. He started at safety in the Super Bowl, so that that has to mean he's really good, right? Uh, so I'm just saying, don't overhype the Hugo Amadi thing. Uh, the Eagles were just trying to move JJ or Sega Whiteside and get literally anything of value in return. Uh, so 92 people up in here, man. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Hit the like button. I appreciate you being here. Hit the like button for me. That would be greatly appreciated. Haven't gone live in a minute. Figured I would just jump up here and chat with you guys. Uh, we'll go through this article here. We'll read a, read a little bit about it. And then, uh, I'll just read the chat and have conversations with you guys and girls. And, uh, then I'll jump up out of here, but I'm, I'm happy. Whiteside's gone. Uh, he's a major bust. Uh, here you go. Kevin Potra, the NFL writer, uh, for uh, the NFL, NFL.com. Uh, J.J. Arcega Whiteside era is over in Philadelphia. NFL Network insider Tom Pelissero reported Monday that the Eagles have traded the receiver to the Seattle Seahawks in exchange for nickel corner Hugo Amadi. I mean, DB, somebody told me he's a safety. Now he's a nickel corner, but uh, that's what he he started at nickel corner. He played a lot of nickel corner uh, for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, per sources informed of the situation. The Eagles have since announced the trade. A second round pick of Stanford in 2019, our Sega Whiteside struggled to gain traction during three seasons in Philly. As a rookie, he caught 10 passes for 169 yards and one touchdown in 16 games. In 2020, he caught four passes 
in eight games for 85 yards. And in 2021, he netted just two receptions for 36 yards in 16 games played. Wow. The Eagles drafted J.J. Arcega-Whiteside, believing the big-bodied receiver could be a red zone weapon. However, that hope quickly fizzled as the wideouts struggled to gain any separation from DBs and didn't win in traffic. You don't say. A couple of big drops, too, um, in that uh, in his rookie season and, and continued uh, off the top of my head. What a Dallas Cowboys game that came down to the wire and uh, Carson Wentz heaves one about 55 yards through the air and Orsega drops it in the end zone. Uh, that was just off the top of me trying to remember that correctly. But uh, with Philly revamping its receiver corpse, Orsega Whiteside was on his way out. The six foot two wide receiver even added 12 pounds and moved to tight end this offseason in an effort to make the roster no dice. He'll try his luck in Seattle, competing for a roster spot. Pelissero noted that the Seahawks plan to move him back to wide receiver. A fresh start could be what the doctor ordered for J.J. Orsega-Whiteside. With the Seahawks dealing with injuries at receiver, importing Orsega-Whiteside could help with depth if he gets up to speed quickly. Amadi mostly played nickel in three seasons in Seattle after being drafted in the fourth round in 2019. He brings starting experience to Philly having made 12 starts in 47 games. All right, so he started 12 times since 2019. Not that uh, impressive. Netting one interception and 54 tackles in 2021. I guess 54 tackles from the safety position in a season. That's a decent number uh, over in Seattle. Earlier in the day, reports out of Seattle indicated Seattle, the Seahawks planned to cut Amadi. Instead, we get a swap of players who wouldn't likely make the final rosters in their respective cities. Now, Orsega Whiteside and Amadi have a fresh chance to make a squad before rosters are set. So, I think it's a good move for the Eagles. They knew Orsega Whiteside wasn't going to make the cut at the wide receiver position, wasn't going to make the cut at the tight end position, wasn't going to make the cut at, at, at any uh, position on this roster. Uh, so... They get a guy in Hugo Amadi who wasn't going to make the cut at safety in Seattle or at nickel corner or whatever else. So they get a guy that they can at least try and say, hey, let's let's see what this guy looks like. Come in. Maybe he can compete with uh, you know, some some DBs, some deep DBs or some free safeties or strong safeties or something like that. And maybe make the roster on the back end. So you get somebody who might make your own roster in return for a player that was not going to make your roster and you were uh, officially done with. I think this is a turning point for Howie Roseman. Um, you know, like I said, Howie drafts a guy, he's wrong, and it seems like he spends a lot of time trying to rectify the mistake instead of just uh, selling high, trading high, trading him at his highest point of value, um, and moving on. But, uh, you know, I think this is maybe a turning point for Howie Roseman. He sees how deep this team is. He sees how deep this team is at wide receiver and tight end. And he said, yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm done here. I'm done. I'm done with J.J. Arcega, Whiteside. Uh, he gone. So let's move him on. Let's move him on for a prospect at free safety, somebody that can at least compete to try to make the roster. Uh, do we have a, uh, what we got going on in the chat here, man? What are you guys arguing about in the chat, bro? What are you guys arguing about here? Where's my chat, man? Uh, there it is. Um, you guys been, you guys have been hostile in the chat lately, man. You, you've been hostile in the chat lately, man. Now nah, limit Z cod says now time to trade Jalen Rager. <laughs> We can only dream. Now look, at least at least Jalen Rager is going to make the team, I think, and and shows some type of promise of at least contributing at the wide receiver position. Uh so, you know, I think you can look at Jalen Rager like that and say like, you know, at least we can give him another season 
And it's not talent or ability with Jalen Rager. It's 100% mindset and effort. And, you know, I, I can't, I think the dude's cooked. I think he doesn't have a strong enough mindset to be a starting wide receiver in the NFL, which is sad. You know, you keeps popping up his arguments with people on Twitter and arguing with random fans and just ridiculous things that Jalen Rager does. So not a fan of Jalen Rager's uh, mindset or personality in the past, you know, since he's been drafted, to be totally honest. Uh, but if I had to compare the two, I mean, I think you would say that Jalen Rager has an opportunity to have at least some value uh, on the squad where J.J. or Sega Whiteside was not even going to make the team. So, but if they would trade Rager right now, I, I think that would be, you know, what I thought they should have done with J.J. or Sega Whiteside last year or the year before, you know? Like, Jalen Rager's been trending down, right, the past year, two years. What did he, he get drafted? 2020? Last year, second year? Year before that was his rookie season? He, he came in as a first-round draft pick. Uh, was drafted way too high. We know that. I'm dumb. I thought he was a sleeper. I thought the pick was great. Turns out it wasn't. It was terrible. And he trended down ever since he came in the league. So, if they would trade Jalen Rager, like, right around right now, that would be what they should have done with J.J. or Sega Whiteside. You know what I'm saying, Howie Roseman? That's what I'm saying. Accept the fact that it was wrong and just get what you can when he still has at least a little bit of value. I mean, no, I'm surprised you got anything in return for J.J. or Sega Whiteside. I'm surprised you got anything. I'm surprised Seattle even gave you a bag of chips, you know? But, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Uh Let's go help Rager pack his bags. Um, D- Mayor Slat, do you think DK would mentor him? You, there's, Can you mentor J.J. or Sega Whiteside? Look, I, I just don't think he's that good. I just don't. And I say, you know, Rager's deficiencies aren't based on his, his physical attributes or his skill set or his abilities. It's his mindset. I just don't think J.J. or Sega Whiteside was ever that good, you know? For his size in the NFL, I don't think he and he, you know, he put on twelve pounds to try to play tight end. Blah blah blah. I don't think he's that good. I don't think he's fast enough. I don't think he runs routes clean enough. He doesn't get. He never got any separation in his entire NFL career from anybody. Um, I mean, he played in sixteen games last year and caught four passes. Like, what are we doing here? What are we really doing here? You know what I mean? So I just don't think he's that good. I don't think DK Metcalf or anybody can can get a good receiver out of J.J. or Sega Whiteside. I don't think Terrell Owens could come back and mentor him. I don't think Michael Irvin in his prime could mentor J.J. or Sega Whiteside. So, that's a hard no from me. <laughs> but thanks for being here, Matt uh, Mayor Slat. I'm sorry, I keep calling you Matt. Thanks for being here. Is that is that supposed to be Matt Slayer or something like that? I don't know. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for joining the chat. Thanks for throwing questions out there. Uh we got A.J. Brown, so I'm glad Howie made up for it. Yeah, excellent trade by Howie uh, for A.J. Brown, of course. Um, do you think A.J. Brown was a little bit frustrated that he didn't get any targets in that preseason game? I think when they interviewed him, you know, that's what he said. Uh, that, like, before he answered the question, he said something like, well, I didn't get any targets, but but uh, this, this, and this. Just throwing that out there. You know, I don't know, man. I was watching some, you know, watching the plays back, and, uh, he, he felt like he was open on one or two plays and he didn't get the ball. Uh, you know, I'm not jumping the gun here, but, um, I will, I, I want to see some in preseason game number two. I definitely want to see some, uh, AJ Brown connections from Jalen hurts. Uh, but I like the fact that Jalen's not backing up looking for anyone specific. He's just backing up in the pocket and, uh, trying to make the right throw and the right decision. Uh, you know, he had the nice one to Quez Watkins down the sideline. He had a couple over the middle to uh, Dallas Goddard. A couple in the flat to Miles Sanders. Nothing too crazy in that preseason game, but, uh, you know. J.J. is like me in bed, a one-night stand. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? I need that Russell Westbrook meme, man. What are you talking about, bro? bro what are you talking about? Man, I'm out. Uh, 
Samuel, as a Colts and Sixers fan, it's cool seeing the Eagles get Colts players. How do you guys combine these teams, man? Somebody just commented on another video that I had and said, go Sixers and Cowboys. How do you guys come up with, I want to know this. Those of you that don't root for an entire city as a sports fan base, how do you come up with these team combinations, bro? How, how are you a Colts and a Sixers fan? I mean, we're talking about Indianapolis, Indiana, and Philadelphia, PA. I don't understand it. But anyway, shout out to you. Thanks for being here. As a Colts and Sixers fan, it's cool to see the Eagles get Colts players. You talking about Pascal? Uh, Eric Pascal? Is that his name? Zach Pascal, I'm sorry. Nina Alston. What's up, Nina? If he can help on special teams, that's value. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. If he can help on special teams, that's value. Yeah. I agree with that. A player that was going to get cut by the Seahawks for a player that we were going to cut. And yeah, if we could, you know, if we could throw him in there and he can contribute on special teams, um, that's value for sure. For sure. Uh, we need to trade Wallace and Rager. They are dead weight. I agree with that completely. I agree with that completely. We need to trade Wallace and Rager. They are dead weight. They're not going to trade Jalen Rager this season. Uh, Kavon Wallace, man, are we ever going to see that guy on the field? I just we saw him on the field what last season, and he and he had that one helmet to helmet personal foul that extended a drive in the playoffs. I'm pretty sure uh, that was really bad. I don't know. Wallace got injured early; he barely had a chance. No, I don't. I don't agree with that. Uh, he did get injured early, but he's he's had chances. You've seen more tweets from Kavon Wallace than than on field minutes. Uh, he's had chances. I just don't think he's that good. I just don't think he's that good. Just... <laughs> Waves, man, you gotta chill. You gotta chill in the comments. Why you come in here popping off like that? Uh, Jaquaski. <laughs> I'm with Eric, dude. Kavan can play. What? What? What show? What? What tells you that? What tells you that? The one opportunity I remember him having, he had a big time personal foul, helmet to helmet hit, and it was a it was a questionable call, but he led straight with the helmet on a player that was heading toward the ground. I guess I like Kavon Wallace's like willingness to tackle and uh you know, put a lick on somebody, but yeah, I don't I mean, I don't know. We overrate players like crazy. We do, you got you know we do the same thing in the NFL that we do in the NBA. We overrate players like crazy, and, and I mean, Kavan can play, can play what? Can play in the NFL? Kavan Wallace can play safety in the NFL. We haven't seen it yet. We haven't really seen any signs of of that being true. So what makes you say Kavan can play in the NFL? Um, we are the deepest team in the league at O-line. Uh, Mayor Slat, why, you're always in here calling people names, bro. Calm it, calm it down, buddy. Calm it down. Just, just come in, have some sports opinions and, and, and move on with your life. We don't have to, you know, you're dumb. You don't know anything. You're an idiot. Things like that. Come on, man. Come on, bro. It's ridiculous. Uh, Jose, you think Rager makes the cut? Yeah, I think he makes the cut. I think, you know, he showed uh he showed some things um in camp so far this season that I guess at least tell you JJ uh that, that at least tell you Jalen Rager should make the team. Uh, you know, just on raw ability and skill and size and speed over guys like over guys like uh why am I thinking of, why can't I think of a practice squad guy uh that was playing with Carson Wentz a couple years ago? But yeah, I think Jalen Rager will make the team. Now, I don't want to see him on the field very much with as deep as this team is. You know, we got we got four wide receivers that should be seeing the field over Jalen Rager. And if if Jalen Rager sees the field a lot, then that tell that's gonna tell me that it's it's still a Howie Roseman thing, uh where 
where he's saying, hey, put him on the field, let's get him some value. Remember those Alshon Jeffrey, that Alshon Jeffrey season where uh, Travis Fulgham, you know, was lighting things up. Not that he's anything to write home about. He ended up being a one-hit wonder with us. But uh, they brought Alshon Jeffrey back from injury and gave him, like, all, all the starting reps. And that was that was Howie Roseman, those contracts. Remember when he re-signed Jason Peters, like, 57 years in a row? Just kept playing Jason Peters at left tackle, and he kept getting smoked because he's 40. You know. You never know what to expect with Howie Roseman. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. Yes, he had a good offseason. He, he had a good offseason this offseason. He turned the Carson Wentz thing around to, to come away with a first-round draft pick out of that situation was ridiculous. Uh, you know, and then to make trades and get a, a future first from the Saints and to, to get an extra first this season from the Miami Dolphins and all those things that he did. He had a good offseason, but... Let's not act like Howie Roseman is not an unpredictable little weasel because he still is, all right? Don't forget. Don't have short-term memory here. Um, If J.J. Arcega Whiteside has a second rebirth in Seattle, then Aaron Moorhead's coaching ability is in the crosshairs. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we've switched wide receiver coaches like how many times? Like a lot, right? Uh. I had a video on this, I think, last year where we talked about wide receivers and the Philadelphia Eagles wide receivers, and they keep drafting guys that can't play. This was before Devontae Smith, obviously, but, uh, you know, after the Jalen Rager selection and our Sega Whiteside was a bust, and um, I had a video talking about that. Like, is it that these guys aren't good, or are the Philadelphia Eagles really bad at, at developing wide receivers or knowing how to use young wide receivers? So... Um, it's interesting. It's interesting to think about. But then we change wide receiver coaches a couple of times, and then you still see these things, and then you start to say to yourself, "Okay, okay, they're just not good. Guys just aren't. These guys just aren't good. They're not good. That's all. They're not good. They're not good." Uh, how many series will the first team see this next preseason game, Jose? What's up, man? Thanks for being here. I hope more than one. You know? Um, I th I do obviously think that Jalen Hurts getting popped out of bounds on a ridiculous cheap shot uh, in that Jets game last week or, or, or on Friday night. Um, I think that definitely impacted Sirianni's decision-making and said, hey, let's just get him out of the game, you know? Uh, you know, um... Jalen Hurts had a good series, six for six, 80 yards and a touchdown. And then, but during that, you know, he gets popped out of bounds and, and, uh, Sirianni probably said, all right, let's just, let's just sit him down. Let's go ahead and put him in Minshew mania, you know? Um, so that probably had a lot to do with it. Cause you know, Sirianni said they were going to play one to two series, the starters. Um, so next preseason game, I, I would, I would like to see more than one series from Jalen Hurts and the starting offense. I would like to see an entire quarter. I want the whole first quarter. That's what I want. And then I want the whole first quarter in in preseason game number three. Or, you know what, no. If, if there's only three preseason games, I keep forgetting that. Just give me a whole quarter of this upcoming preseason game, and then preseason game number three, sit everybody down. Who cares? It doesn't matter. No big deal. Uh, and move on to getting ready to play the the Detroit Lions in, in game number one of the season. So, uh, but yeah, I would I would really be happy if the starters played um, a whole quarter of the preseason. So, what's your favorite JJ or Sega Whiteside memory other than today? I don't have one. I do not have. I do not have a favorite memory of JJ or Sega Whiteside. That that doesn't exist. Uh, that does not exist. I do want to go to the tweet and uh, read the replies, all right? Because I'm sure we can expect that the replies to this tweet uh, by the Philadelphia Eagles is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so let's check it out. The Eagles announced uh, about an hour or so ago that uh, the Eagles have agreed to trade, agreed to terms to trade tight end J.J. Orsega-Whiteside to the Seahawks for safety. Hugo Amadi, uh, 
And here's the replies, all right? His only touchdown ever, which was, I'm pretty sure, off of a fumble that rolled forward into the end zone. Am I wrong about this? Let's check it out here. And is that... It's, yeah, it's a Miles Sanders fumble. And is that really his only touchdown ever? All right, let's get it up here. Let's get it up here. Where's... uh? Let's get it up here in full screen. We got to watch. We got to watch J.J. Orsega-Whiteside's only touchdown ever in full screen uh, on the live here to celebrate the career of J.J. Orsega-Whiteside. Celebrating the career of J.J. Orsega-Whiteside, we are going to watch his only touchdown ever. Um... So here it is. It's Miles breaks up. Well, what was about to be what a eighty-five yard touchdown run. Um, stripped from behind. <laughs> the funniest part about this is that he hesitated. The funniest part is the hesitation. He sees the ball, and he's like, oh, my God, there's a football, and the end zone's right there. And he saw his life flash before his eyes, and he saw his name in lights, and he saw future stardom, and he saw himself hanging out with rappers in nightclubs. He saw himself next to James Harden in the King of Diamonds, Throwing hundreds. <laughs> Is that really his only touchdown ever? Nah. Didn't he have one as a rookie? Did he have a touchdown as a rookie? Ben Simmons is trending? Why is Ben Simmons trending? Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Woj bomb Ben Simmons gets his $20 million from six or Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, guys. I'll get I'll get right off this stream right now and I'll pop back up with a Sixers thumbnail because stop it. Don't mess with me, man. Do not mess with me. All right, man. Stay tuned. I'm going to pop back up with a thumbnail uh, ranting about Ben Simmons. Why not? I don't have anything to do today. Thank you guys for hitting me with that Woj Bomb. Uh, shout out to the Eagles for finally um, releasing J.J. or Sega White's or trading J.J. or Sega White's side. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. If, uh, if you want some more content, <laughs> I'm about to pop up and, and talk about Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers. So 